Good afternoon viewers, welcome back. I'm continuing on my DJC series uh, and this will be the last video uh, in the DJC series um, for, for now. Um, the greatest hits released in 1974 was um, the last LP placed under the DJC series in South Africa, uh, DJC 3029. Uh, and what I have here is a repressing or a reissue uh, under the series ML4015. And then in brackets below it says DJC. 3029 and the reason for that is um, the DJC series ends off with the greatest hits and then the MLC series uh, picks up uh, after that I think in 1975 um, and then all the all these LPs are reissued under the ML series uh, and then they are distributed um, by Galo or Galo, um, so I think it's. I'm, I'm not sure the, the 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 details behind it, but yeah. So then we can see the label ML dot full stop four o. One five. Uh, however, the stamper used for this LP was DJC uh, three o two nine because yeah, in the matrix it gives you still the DJC three o two o nine catalog number so yeah they've moved on to the ml series but they still used in this case the djc um stamper so on my other greatest hits lp uh it which is a later pressing it has the djc um, um, catalog number scratched out in the matrix and then engraved next to that is the ML4015 catalog number so yeah this uh, the the first issue on this um, DJC3029 was a gatefold uh, textured gatefold cover and then the reissue was a single sleeve so i said this is the last video in the series for now because there are still two lps that i require to complete my djc series and that is a tumbleweed connection djc 3007 um, which is extremely hard to get uh, or extremely rare and then greatest hits volume one which is djc3022 so yeah this sheet that i'm reading from is a list that i compiled uh, when doing research on the djc a series so I started off with the LPs that I had um, and this sheet this sheet of research that I did uh, relied heavily on discogs I spent many hours looking up the series um, catalogs numbers on discogs um, I spent many hours looking at pictures of the listed LPs 
and then I not only used Discogs, but I also used Bodo Buy, um, which is an online um, used uh, used uh, auction or platform to to buy used goods and to bid on auction. Uh, it's our eBay here in South Africa, uh, and uh, many of my LPs I buy off Bodo Buy. So I also looked up many LPs that were listed on Budobai and I could look at their photos. Uh, some of them had nice clear photos of the listed LPs. Um, so that was also uh, where I gathered my research. And then just to run through this list briefly, I started off with uh, Empty Sky. Um, and as I said in my previous video, uh, the DJC 3013 was not a 1969 pressing, um, as stated on Discogs, because the, the P encircled um, on the label indicates that it was pressed in 1972 or after 1972, as well as the, the catalog series DJC 3013 falls between 1-2, which is 1971, and 1-4, which is 1972. So that took me off to Empty Sky, the original first issue that was pressed in South Africa, um, which was on World Record Company, and the catalog number was ORC5049. Um, and that was followed by Silla Black ORC 6048. So that Empty Sky, I believe that's a, a mistake. The catalog number should actually read 6049. ORC 6049. Um, back to DJC. Silla Black Share Lou DJC 3000. I believe that was done in 1970, though the Scog states it as 1968. Elton John, the self-titled DJC 3001, that was done in 1970. Silla Black, Sweet Inspiration, DJC 3002, 1970. Uh, and that LP has, I can't go on living without you. A very early song by uh, Elton John and Bernie Taupin. Uh, DJC 3003. I don't know with what the, if that title exists, so I don't have any info on that. Um, then I have Jade. Fly on Strange Wings. DJC 3004. 1970. Um, I skipped. Pass 0506, then Tumbleweed Connection 3007, 1970, and then 3009, The Trogs, the very best, or the best of the Trogs, Volume 2, 71, uh, 1711, 70, excuse me, by Elton John. Uh, 3011, 71, um, Madman Across the Water, 3012, Empty Sky, 3013, Monkey Shadow, 3014, or Alton John. Um, then it should be noted from Monkey Shadow, as I mentioned, the P on the label is encircled. Um, Silla Black images that stated as 1971 on the Discog date, though the P is encircled. So that could possibly be a 1972, or it could be at the transition. Uh, DJC 3017, uh, a group, Collison, Dean, McGuinness, Flint doing Bob Dylan covers. 
73 is 3018 Sala Black Day by Day. Uh, black Foot Sue, Nothing to Hide, 3021, 1973. And then Goodbye Yellow Brick Road by Alton John, 3022, Volume 1, 3022, Volume 1 for Mozambique, uh, 3023, Volume 2, and I suspect 3024 is volume 2 for Mozambique. Though I, I, I didn't, I don't have anything to cross reference that with. Um, Hookfoot Roaring is the next DJC 3026 1973. That's all the information I have on that. Big John's Rock and Roll Circus uh, 3028 and then 74. And then greatest hits 3029. There's a 3029 for Mozambique as well. Uh, and then there's a 3029 for Angola. All printed under the DJC uh, series. So yeah, that's the information I compiled. And then there's various comments that I put down on where the catalog numbers um, were located on the front cover, top left, um, and how after 72 they removed the catalog number from the front cover and you would generally see it on the back cover. So yeah, let me know your thoughts, comments below. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and that brings it into my DJC series. Thank you for watching.